for sure. Oh, hella twig outside. Oh no. The Solo series is finally here, but it didn't start with three full metal kits right outside my base. So let's go back to where it all began. Now I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played Solo in a long time, but it's definitely been way overdue. I didn't know he would swing at me twice. Kinda sucks. Ooh, bear rug. Since I'm playing solo now, there's gonna be a big change of pace in the videos. Because usually when I'm with a team, we could just fight everyone and PvP our way to the top. But if I'm playing solo, I'm gonna have to be sneaky and I'm gonna have to grab loot. And since it's wipe day and I don't have any BPs, I do not think this is gonna be easy. So with that in mind, I think I wanna build somewhere around like M6, M5 over here. Maybe even all the way up on that little peninsula because that still puts me close to sewer and decently close to launch site. Outpost is right next to launch, which I don't know if I really like that. Like this map is kind of weird, but outpost being in the middle of the map is actually pretty convenient. I'll also be even closer to Bandit if I live up there on that little uh, peninsula. I didn't really have much, but I hope I'm not looted. Nope, I'm chilling. All right, we're looking pretty good. I got some decent farm. Uh, I need to get a lot more wood. I'm looking for a scientist so I can get a green card. Also getting a furnace going right away would be good too. By the time this video comes out, I'm sure you guys will see it, but they came out with a Tommy skin uh, with the new update and they didn't add anything with the new update. They just fixed a lot of bugs in the game, which was kind of upsetting to see because I thought they would add small oil, but I read the little dev blog and it said like the devs took a pretty long holiday break. So that probably just didn't give them enough time to finish what they needed to do. And I do understand it was the holidays and people do need a break from their job. So hopefully we'll see a uh, small and large oil next month. No. No, he's got a flashlight. No. No. No, my perfect start. Down the drain. Oh, because it turned night and I didn't know where to put down a base. Dang it. After dying for the first time of many, I restarted and finally got a base down. Ruger 9 mil. <laughs> no way. 
That guy raided me in part two of the undercover mission. It's funny he's playing on this server because it's a completely different server. All right, got a base down, which is good. And I didn't build up here because there's like so many people up here and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a big Zerg base in this water. And honestly, this is a lot closer to the sewers and launch, so I don't mind it at all. It's on the water too and it's pretty flat. I should have no problem building here. The only river on this map is all the way in the top left, which is pretty sad. Oh. Ooh, a double door. I'll take that. I got some decent comps on me. I'm gonna go recycle. I don't know if I can recycle right here. If I can, I might just do it real quick. Here we go. Pretty much got a level one down if we wanted to. Uh, almost enough for a furnace. Gonna be a mosh pit over here. And I'm one shot, so this isn't good. There's already a pretty big base right here. Maybe they called it in. And these guys are on the same team and nobody else is contesting. I think he has a Tommy. Yeah, Maddie Wreck. Dang, I should have stayed alive for a little longer. Now he's shooting. Oh my God, Yoka! What a joke. As a solo, dying is a big part of the game, but I knew eventually that the plays would start to go in my favor. For now, I still needed all the scrap I can get. Yeah, it's definitely looted. Dang it. I wonder if the harbor one is looted. I've never done this before, so we'll see how, what, how this loot is. Or is it one crate? Oh, it has he. Take it. Oh, he refreshed. I kind of need farm, but I don't need it just a second. I really just need scrap because I have no BPs. That's the one thing I could say that I don't like what uh, Rust Console is doing right now. I think monthlies should BP wipe every wipe because these Zergs can just quickly build right back up in a day and offline every single base on the server. Ooh, diving suit. All right, one of the crates re refresh. Another crate still here. And weapon crate, no blue card. All right, not bad, not bad. No, there's a 12 player queue. I logged out so the crates would respawn and sat in a 12 player queue. I figured that would work, but the crates still weren't spawning fast enough. And that's when I thought about trying scuba diving for the very first time. And now I'm gonna do something I never tried before, which is going out into the water. I got 70 low grade, that should be enough. I'm also gonna put some stuff away so I can have as much inventory space as possible. I don't know if this is a good way to get comps and scrap, but I've heard about people doing it, and since I'm playing solo, I might as well try it. I mean, I'm sure we won't get contested out here, because nobody else really likes doing it. 
Okay, this boat's about to break. I don't want to use this one. It's also turning night, so I guess I'll wait until morning. Alright, it's morning. Time to go look for a boat. So if I'm correct, this little thing right here, it's in the water of this glass bottle. Or what is that, a water bottle? Right below this, supposed to be crates. Oh yeah, look. Okay. My god, it takes forever. These are like those small crates too, why does it take so long? Alright, that was the fourth one right there. It's a big crate, ooh. Alright, I think that's all of them. Okay. Is this gonna be like barrel loot? Yeah. So these are pretty much like finding barrels. Oh, a camera though, hold on. That was kind of worth it. Oh, water pipe, let's go. Okay, made it home. After using 30, 30 low grade, a diving tank, and spending from about 2.30 p.m. to 6.30 in the morning, rust hours, I was able to bring home 250 scrap, almost 700 cloth, could have brought home more if I didn't want to keep the rope, 28 high qual, 560 frags, and a few comps. It's not bad at all. And I wouldn't say that's guaranteed every time, because I've only done it one time, but I mean, at least you know that you're not gonna die out there more often than not. They already have a compound already? No. I'm definitely getting raided. That's their base right there, and then that's my base. That base is getting raided too. Oh my god, that's just awful. I'm literally the closest base to the Zerg. Great. My god, so many nakeds. What is going on right here? his team no way he does that and I headshot him
Go! Oh no, I bled out! No! And I got a bag timer. No! I spawned close. Oh my god. They're both dead. Oh my god, let's go. Alright, I'm gone. It's just too much to hold, I'm gone. 620 cloth, 150 scrap, let's go. And I got a metal hatchet, that's huge because I've been struggling to get wood. It's gonna help a lot. A little high qual, a little stone. 310 animal fat now. Looking real good for being a solo. All I need now is a couple guns, or even one gun I'll take. Preferably customer Tommy. There's always Tommy shots over here. It's crazy. This is where I'm gonna get the Tommy. It has to be. Oh! Is he dead? Let's go. Oh! It's not bad. I think I just have to take small victories every time. I'll just run it back. That's an MP5 though. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna run it back. I'm gonna run it back. After a long first day of wipe, it was time to get off for the night. My main goal for the first couple of days was to get BPs, so I made sure I stashed my scrap and a couple other things in case I got offline raided. Alright, well. Only the first night, and I was already offline raided. So I'm guessing they laddered to the top. They soft-sided that? No way. They soft-sided both. No way. can maybe live out of here for now. And they took my level two, I should have stashed it. That was dumb of me. I guess this was the solo life I was asking for. I mean, you know, you just get offline raided every night. Luckily I stashed some loot, so I'm not completely back to zero. But I'm mad I didn't stash a level two because that would have been smart. I just never think I'm gonna get raided and then I always do. Doesn't I don't I don't get why people like raiding solo bases on the water. Like they barely get they didn't get any profit. I can guarantee that. It went through like six she metal doors, soft sided into two loot rooms. I was a little upset at the time, but I quickly remembered how much they didn't profit from the raid. And now I had an enemy to search for. I didn't see this snowflake guy at all on day one, but I can only plan for revenge if he's not in one of the bigger groups. So we'll have to wait and see, but for now I have to get back on the grind. All looted, man. Come on. Every box looted. Ooh, 5-5. Five five. Don't have 5-5 five five research yet, so it's kind of good. Ended up getting a revolver, a DB, and pistol bullets because there's four pistol bullets in the revolver. And now that I have all those, I'm going to research them.
So that's Bacon I killed turned out to be Jose. I uh, I told him to server because he was bored and he wanted to play solo himself. He almost killed me too, he head dinged me and then uh, got me like 10 HP. If I didn't have stims I was probably dead. And I was on my way over to the Chinook crate and I was going to stash the uh, green and the blue card over there in case I died. But it looks like the Chinook crate's already gone so, oh, this guy's across here. Pro's lagging. Okay, not bad. I'm close to home, so I might as well depot. That dude has the MP5 shooting me. I might get beamed right here. Oh no, I didn't bring any DV ammo. He got shot by the scientist. Is he dead? No. He's dead. Ruger. Let's go. I accidentally put my DB ammo away. That almost cost me. Let's go. My first gun. MP5. And I got two hazies. Alright. Now let's see if I can make an airfield. Probably not though, before I run into somebody else. Ooh. No! No! That was it. See what their base is looking like. Oh my god. Three layers of compound walls already. And that thing is huge. Jeez. If anyone tries to raid this, I wanna see it. It'd probably be an offline though. I mean who would raid that online? Oh. Oh, oh, I'm dead. 100 percent This Z Far kid lives here and he killed me a lot yesterday. And they kept roaming like MP5 and stuff. They might have got raided, but I know they can. They can definitely get some more loot. That's only a two x two with a little honeycomb. I really wish I had BPs. I did get that satchel charge. Now, with it only being second day into wipe, there's no other way I'm going to get a level two. Besides so crafting another one. And on the bright side, now I can make stims. And with these stims and with this kit, I think I'm going to try to get myself another kit.
Oh, let's go. Alright, that was huge. I think what I'm gonna do is even though I'd rather have a Tommy, I think it would be smart to research the custom and then make one with the one SMG body I have and roam with that instead of the MP5. It's way easier to find an SMG body than it is to find a custom. So with that logic in mind, it definitely makes sense to research a custom. And then I'm gonna make one. And I'm gonna put this MP5 away. mp5 and tommy up there but i gotta dip next time i'll just run right through harbor and i'll go all the way up north i know there's a big base up here i might be shooting at this guy outside oh lr up top that's not good i wish i was up there now Holy, could be a raid. No way, he killed me way too quick. And without even trying, I found Snowflake's base. From the looks of it, it looked very raidable. But unfortunately, I can't go right to farming because I have no BPs. So I went right back to the scrap grind. Very much needed recycle trip. 650 scrap, a lot of high qual, a lot of frags. Forgot about that cloth too, almost 2000. After a couple of hours of grinding scrap, I took a break to think about the best way I can avoid another offline raid. And the best thing I came up with was putting down decoy bases. If you don't know what a decoy base is, then basically it's a base you build right near your main base, but you put no loot inside. So if raiders come into the area to raid, then it gives me a higher chance of them raiding a decoy base instead of my main base. I can also spread loot in these decoy bases, so I don't lose everything if the raiders choose my main base correctly. But since it's still early in the wipe, I could just stash my best loot and not really worry about the rest.
Our decoy bases are almost set up. Here's one of them right here, it's just a two by two with a honeycomb. I'm gonna put another door inside, but right now it only has an airlock. And put one right here. Door like that. And then I'm gonna have no loot in here, so it's just gonna be straight decoy base. And then this one over here, I kind of messed up. So I have my stashes right uh, below these, this rock right here. So I kind of made it a little compound. And I'm gonna plant some seeds in here to make it look like I just wanted the compound for uh, to plant some seeds. Not to, you know, store any stashes. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put a second floor on this uh, little T-shaped base. I try to make it look like roleplay as possible, like I don't know what I'm doing, uh, just so like people don't wanna raid it. Now that my decoy bases were finished, I had time for one more sewers run. SMG body, sir. He had a hundred low grade in his miner's hat. Big win, big win. Sewers run and a Tommy. I know I said this was the last thing I did, but right after I stopped recording, there was a guy with a hazmat and a jackhammer farming right outside my base. And when I went outside to kill the farmer, it turned out to be Z Fara. He didn't have much at all, so I didn't even Xbox record it, but he ended up sending me threatening messages about raiding me right after it happened. Because of these messages, he was slowly turning into my main enemy on the server. It was now day 3, and I finally woke up to not being raided for once. So I went out on a morning farm run. This guy's a Jackie. Oh yeah! Let's go! Not gonna lie, I really want to raid Zifara. It's kind of crazy how he even sent me that message. Even after how much I already didn't like him. I wish I Xbox recorded it, but at the same time, it was like there was really no reason to record it. He had a Hazzy, a water pipe, and a jackhammer. And he probably hit maybe one sulfur rock and one stone rock, and I killed him outside my base. And it's funny because he just ki he killed me so many times throughout the wipe already. Like way more than I was able to kill him. I, I think that was the first time I killed him maybe. And I guess he was just mad that I took his jackhammer. He asked for it back. I didn't answer. And then I stayed up all night and he didn't raid. So he threatened to raid me and didn't. Made me stay up all night. He's already killed me a few times. He's got to be the main target. And I don't understand why so many animals spawn right outside my base. Who thought it was a good idea to have the animal spawn rate on the coast? Isn't that just gonna spawn kill all of the nakeds that spawn there? Constantly getting hit by bears and wolves as soon as I leave my base. Look at this bro, come on! Let me live! Constantly door camping me. Get out of here. Tommy guy just took down another Tommy guy. But is that two of them right there? Yeah, I can't mess with that. Especially with a full inventory of farm. These guys already have watchtowers around their base. Why do they have so many? Unless somebody was trying to grief them. This base does deserve to get a watchtower grief low key. It's only the third day and they got five layers. Another decent farm run. Wish I got more sulfur, but there wasn't really much on that island. Oh my god, that bear came out of the bush. I guess I'm not getting that metal rock. Dude, these bears suck. They're everywhere. Let's go. Made it home with the wood. 
At this point, I did three or four farm trips, so it was time to roam a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh. Ellie, come over here. Ellie, come over here. Kill this guy. Ellie, come on. Come kill this guy. There was a fire and drop. Now I got a little more room to PvP some of these kids. I'm gonna go see if I could try to kill them. Oh my god. They are... Oh my... They are rocking it. Oh. Take it down in the water. Oh, they're gonna take it out way over there over the water? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Take it out over the water. Uh... That's probably not in the water. So dumb for this. Ooh! Oh! Yeah, all the crates are on the ground. I'm dead. Get out of there! Right, that was fun while it lasted. I think this is Faro's base. Looks like they got raided. See his TC. It's wide open. <laughs> Three doors, four, I got a garage door, they have loot on the top of there too, I don't even know if they know that's exposed, but probably nothing in there. Dang it, bro. It's alright though, it's gonna happen. I just should have been looking at the door. I didn't know where their front door was. I didn't know where you were gonna come from for a second. I ended up dying on my room, but at least I was able to find out that Zfaro got raided. That guy Flickters that was in the window is teamed with Zfaro, so that's how I know they live there. But what I didn't know was that even though their base looked raided, they were actually building an even bigger base closer to sewers. Immediately after seeing their base that big with two layers of high external walls, and knowing there's at least four of them, my chances of raiding Zfaro has pretty much gone down the drain. As much as I could farm Sulfur all day and then offline them at night, the main issue was getting the BPs for the boom. By the time I got the BPs and the farm, their base will probably get too big or another zerg will beat me to the raid. So the new plan of action was to get one of these zergs to raid me. And the only idea I have of doing this is just killing them enough to make them think my base is worth raiding. But this plan didn't come to mind right away. I was first greeted by another Zerg member that made a lot of things click for me. How did you come back and lose so fast? Maybe because I live at the base right there, idiot. Buh, 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 buh. Super Grenader is Ruger's teammate, and this group is the same exact group that 2v10 raided me in part 2 of my undercover mission video. If they wanted to raid me, I wouldn't be surprised, but I wasn't going to stress over it now. So the next thing I did was take out a Tommy, and then I saw a new base being built right outside my base. Oh, what the heck, there's a new base right here.
Ooh, garage door. Need that. I depot that loot and grab my scuba gear so I can kill the last guy. There it is. Can't afford to have any neighbors. Hopefully they don't try to rebuild. But if they do, I think I'll be I'll be fine to take care of them. Gave me some nice farm, needed that. Need all the farm I can get. Alright, we're rolling. Z Faro's group took Heli not too long after this, so I put my Tommy away and tried to grub some loot. Oh my god. I knew I should have left. Ah, bad idea. I was probably dead on the run away, but I mean, it wasn't like anything that good. I'm broken MP5 and a few road sign kits. Like I had the Tommy, but yeah, could have got with the Tommy. Could have got away with a road sign kit and a broken MP5. But nothing was really loaded. And then Naked probably got away with something. He ran away like ASAP. Sorry, right, I'm not mad about it. There's got to be something I can grab. M2 guy must have had to get more ammo. <laughs> I just got super lucky, like, was able to loot for that long. I didn't know where he went at all. Yeah, the naked's just grabbing all the loot. Oh, maybe he doesn't have an angle. That could be it. No, oh, no, he's got an angle on me. Alright. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time since the last time I recorded. But we're looking at close to the end of day 3 here. It's 3.04 in the morning. Um, I got a row of uncooked sulfur, box of metal, some charcoal. Uh, that's not a lot of comps, but this is like, this is my prized possession box. Everything I've been working for. 7k GP and counting. And this is just like stuff I wouldn't want to lose if I got offlined. I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to show you guys my little uh, secret room. This is only going to work if they don't raid through the front door and I can be able to get to this area because, and I just made that armored, oh my god. Well, if I pick up this locker, there's a secret door. And in that secret door, we got some small crates. I'm gonna put more stuff in there and then I'm gonna put the locker back up. But uh, there's no way they should grab that. Also grab the big furnace, why not? Grab ladders, grab the satchel. Any extra comps, might as well. I got more than enough space. I'm gonna bring some metal too. All right, that should be enough. All right, perfect. Everything's filled up. 
close the door, put the locker back. Boom. All right, now I'm gonna fill the locker with some of my prim kits. Hopefully the raiders won't take it. They see prim kits and they don't even think about picking up the locker. Put a diving kit in there, why not? All right, got some fire kits in here. Looking real good. And I almost forgot I didn't even show the rest of the base. It's not like too special, but you come out of the two by one entrance and then here's the secret room. Here's the front door. And then over here, I got two more furnaces going. I think I'll keep these for like dump crates. And then this is going to be like a bedroom. I got a locker in here. But then you come upstairs. I got another loot room on this side. Then this is the third floor. Come up here. Another loot room right here. Didn't even put crates in it yet, but... This is pretty protected actually, and I don't think people will get this one very easily. And I'm thinking about doing a shooting floor, but I'm not sure yet. The upkeep isn't that bad though right now, so I probably could do a shooting floor and it would be decent. It was now the morning of day four, and I woke up pretty early to check if I was raided. All of my bases were good until about 10 a.m. when I heard satchels going off right outside my base. So they blew in through the decoy base, they went through one door, two doors, and then three doors, and they didn't even open the TC after. They were like, yeah, this base doesn't even have a crate in it, it doesn't have anything. <laughs> I probably should put a crate in here, because now they definitely think it's a decoy base, and they might even come back to raid my base. At least I know it works though. They tried to offline raid my decoy base and got nothing besides a lost kit, and the name turned out to be Matty Rec, also known as the Zerg base nearby. They didn't even break TC when they saw not even a single crate inside, and it got me in the mood to go on a farm run. But then I heard shots right outside of the Zerg's base. This guy has you right here? I need this kill. Let's go. Maddie Wreck. Let's go. Let me get out of here. I don't know if this is like a common thing that people like to say whenever they die. I just made the play on the kid and he goes, you're about to get raided. <laughs> it's always just like the raid threat every time you just kill somebody one time. Ruger's group has been trying to tag Heli, but it wasn't flying towards their base, so one of their members came a little too far outside to tag it. You killed him already? Not yet. Oh, he just saw me come uh. out of the base. Oh. And now he's marked. I'm getting raided. <laughs> I am getting raided. Super Grenader, and he has a full inventory of farm, 500 cloth. He just hit top, like, I don't know what he's doing. 
He came back naked, DB. <laughs> Are you tight? Had to make sure. Had to make sure. It's Are you tight, buddy? Oh, he came out spaz. It's M2. Let's see what he has to say. I'm gonna teabag him. <laughs> Go into game chat. Go into game chat. Let's see what you gotta say. <laughs> oh, we got killed by a wolf. As fun as it is to annoy your local zerg, I was about to quickly regret the choices I made because the teabagging definitely sent them over the edge. Oh, sir. oh hella twig outside. Oh no. No shot. Oh! Are they coming? <gasps> They're yet. They're here. Holy shit, boys. I was just in a party with Jose. They are actually raiding me. He was not joking, bro. He was not joking. They're going to the top. I need a building plan hammer. No way this is happening right now. No way. I think they're... They're actually gonna get my all my stuff right away. Dead. They just went right right for my secret stuff. Oh my god, bro, this sucks. This is not good. No way they just went through that way. There's a lot of them too. Oh my god. I'm about to get down here. I gotta get out. Oh! I'm taking TC. Oh no. Bro, this is chop, bro. Can I even get back in my friend door? Hello, bag timers putting doors down I can't even bro that's so ridiculous well guys believe it or not out of every wall they could have broke into they somehow hit my secret room right away I knew if they transferred that loot then there would be no other loot in my base worth fighting for so that's why I try to seal first. And all in all, I asked for this raid, but it was only because they threatened me first. And even though I was set back to square one, this solo series was far from over. I didn't play for the rest of the night, but I got on the next morning to start over. I had plans to move far away from that zerg so they wouldn't raid me again. But to my surprise, their six high external layered base was raided. So like maybe one of the outer TCs got blown into? Oh yeah, wait, they got hit. This changed my entire wipe for the better, and I snowballed faster than I ever had before as a solo. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave that for part two. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.